the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. I want to welcome you to Spiritual Empowerment for Success in Life. Uh, I'm just so excited tonight, amen, to come before you and bring a word of inspiration in life. I have one of my spiritual sons with me tonight, uh, Minister Temporal Green. Greenwood. Temple Greenwood. Mm -hmm. And um, he's the minister of, uh, of uh, arts and, and music there, and now Faith Hills World Outreach Ministry. He has a lot of things going on in his life uh, that God is doing for him. He's full of vision. Amen. I love to see a young man that's full of vision. Uh, minister Temple has been very faithful uh, to the ministry here and to the gift that God has given him. Um, I'm going to uh, allow him to come forth and um, I'm gonna be asking him some questions tonight um, that I think would be inspiring to other young men that are, and women that are up and coming that's full of vision. Uh, uh, the Bible says in Habakkuk 2 and 2, write the vision, make it plain, write it upon tables and for those that read it can run with it. And then I'm, I'm recalled temple there in a scripture in uh, Proverbs 18, 16 said, a man's gift will make room for him and bring him before great men. One, one translation says a man's gift will open doors mm -hmm. for him. And so in, in saying that, I, I, uh, 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 I want to I hit on some things uh, tonight, but, but what really catches my attention tonight is the book that you're writing. Mm -hmm. Uh, I remember you coming to the ministry about three and a half, I believe, about three and a half, almost four years ago. And at that time, I was just meeting you. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I could hardly minister for always looking over at you prophesying. And I remember prophesying about a book. Yeah. And, um, and then uh, um, I seen you act upon that. You, you acted upon that. And so there's a book now that you have written that will soon be released. Mm -hmm. It's called A King's Journey to Greatness. Ah, but that's powerful. A King's Journey to Greatness. And, and tonight I want to open up the broadcast tonight and uh, I want to talk about your vision. I want to talk about you. I want to talk about what inspired you to write um, um, this, um, this book, mm -hmm. A King's Journey to Greatness. Yeah. Talk to us. Talk to us. Um, well, what inspired me to write this book? It first happened. Uh, I remember the actual night. It was on the Thursday night call. Right. Um, and uh, I was just. That's thinking, when we had the conference yeah, line, that's right? Yeah, we used to have the conference line. And, right. Um, I was just thinking about how far I had came in my faith and my relationship in God, um, with God. And uh, I was just thinking the first the first uh, chapter that He gave me was from a boy to a man. From a boy to the man. That's the yeah. first chapter. Yeah, that's the first chapter. Okay. And, okay. And then I I I I, I, re I went on and I read a little a uh, little insert about it to you guys and then you gave me the word. Mm -hmm. God gave me the word. But um, mm -hmm. really it's just uh, uh, knowing that you're a king and um, knowing 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 that there's a journey to greatness is not an overnight success thing that happens. Mm -hmm. And and once you keep that right mindset and uh and and surround yourself with a uh, greatness then then you can get it then you can go there mm -hmm. and um yeah and 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 the main thing is you have to know that once you once you become more intimate with the father then then you're revealed to who you really are and uh through this ministry i've been i've able i've been able to uh, uh become and know who i really am so amen a blessing. amen amen uh I believe one of the key things to to any vision is being connected right. Yeah. Being connected right. Yeah. Um, what's, what's your power source? And that should be God. Mm -hmm. And and once finding that power source, then 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 what are you connected to? What what what's what centers you? What what are do you are you covered? Do you have a covering? Do you have some and you do. Mm -hmm. You know, you you you're hooked up right. You you you're connected right. I've watched your faithfulness in three and a half years, and no one has to tell you how to use your gift. I mean, you know, you you want hey, you know, you yeah. you're very vocal about. Look, I got this. I want to do this, and that's very inspiring. Um, but but a man's gift, what I want to hit on tonight is it says a man's gift will bring him before great men. 
Um, but greatness starts in the dark. Yeah, very true. Greatness starts sometimes it looks uncertain. Sometimes it looks um, impossible. I found out that a lot of great people, there's a separation come. There is a, before you, before you expose, you're hitting. Mm -hmm. You're in a, a hiding place. Yeah. And I don't know about you, and I, and, and I, can, I probably can attest it, but I'm going to let you talk. Mm -hmm. but, but I know when I started this journey, it seemed like I lost some people mm -hmm. out of my life mm -hmm. that I thought would be there the day, and they're not. Mm -hmm. Don't mean that they're not great people. It's just they're not part of what I'm doing yeah. now. Yeah. Um, environment is everything. Environment and everything. And when you're gonna when you're gonna birth something, environment is everything. Talk to me about environment. Talk to me about about um, the process of making this book. Have it separate you from yes. anything of the norm? Yes, definitely. Um, like you said, uh, there's a there's a you have to there's separation before elevation. Mm -hmm. So there is a there's a process to greatness. You have to surround yourself with greatness. There there's a Greatness has a certain atmosphere, a certain language, mm -hmm. and and once you tap into that, then then your mind begins to uh, evolve and goes to different levels. And you have to surround yourself with where you want to be. You have to you have to constantly you have to meditate on where you want to be. Um, and uh, through this through this book, there has been a lot of um, there. It, it's taught me a lot, and I had to really. Uh, to really go through it and and really com commune with God and really uh, go like go go back in my life and, and see who's who who do I need in my life? What are you adding to my life? What do you what 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 are you bringing to the table? And and I have seen some people you know go and leave and blessings and favor to them, but I realize uh, where you're called to be, there will be the right people will be where you're called to be. And um, yeah. now that's good. That's good. The right people will be where you're called to be. But you gotta recognize the place, I like to say, the place called there. Okay. There's a place called there. There's a place called there where provision shows up, mm -hmm. spiritually, financially. There is a place called there where you are enriched mm -hmm. uh, in, in, your, in your spirit. Uh, I'm thinking about when I, I think about creation and I'm thinking about when, uh, how God went, with, went within himself and pulled out a man called Adam, breathed into him the breath of life. Let's call that God's vision. Okay, let's just stay with me because I, I want you to work this with me here. But he called that his vision. But, but he called what was in him out of him and placed him in a, an environment that would be fruitful. Mm -hmm. He placed him in an environment where he would blossom. Yeah. He placed him in an environment where he would be enriched. He placed him into an environment where he would prophesy until something happened. Mm -hmm. Prophesy. Call those things that be not as though they were. Yeah. I believe that you prophesy until, and we're talking to somebody yeah, tonight, because yeah. somebody's listening to this. Yeah. Somebody's listening to us right now, and, and, and you have a vision, but, but, but the place where God put Adam was a place where his vision could be fed. He put him in a garden where his vision could be fed. Yeah. Where the vision could be fed, it, it, it could be nourished, it, 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 it could multiply, it could replenish. You see what I'm saying? And I, and I believe that's what vision does. It, 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 it puts you in the place where you're able to execute what's in you out of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Talk to me. Talk to yeah, me. Um, you, you hit something right there that hit my spirit. Uh, garden, the garden, I think. God will take you. God, when God wants to uh, impregnate, impregnate you with something, he will take you from the crowd to the to the closet. Mm -hmm. He will take you from from, from the, the crowd to the closet. Yes, to, from mm -hmm. the popular place to the unpopular place. Right. And he will. And and secrets aren't told in, in, in public. They're told in, they're told in private. And mm -hmm. and 
through that garden, there's a you have to you have to remember there's a process. There's a there's a journey to to greatness. There's a journey to be uh, to getting to where you're supposed to be. And I remember those days, you know, prophesying. You have to speak those things. Your power have your words have power. And you create your own atmosphere. You can you create your own reality through the power of your words. And yeah, it was just yeah. You know, the, the, the Bible says in Romans, I think it's Romans, the uh, eighth chapter, um, and it talks about creation is groaning and travailing for the manifestation of the sons of God. Groaning for what? For, for the sons of God to stand up and prophesy and free them through the power of words. Because either your words is justifying mm -hmm. or either your, you or your words is condemning you. Are you following what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Your words is justifying the scene. Or it's condemning the same because life and death is in the power of the tongue. And so um, uh, I believe when God gives you vision, you're responsible to nurse that. Now, now nobody may not see this book like you see it. Mm -hmm. yeah. nobody, nobody may not want to even nurse this book like you want to nurse it now. But, but we got to remember, he's given you the vision. He's given someone out there the vision. Your vision may not be a book. It could be a business. It could be whatever. It could be to be a wife, to be a husband, to, 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 to be whatever, whatever. But, but you birth that thing through your imagination. Your dream is birthed through your imagination. And you got to freeze that. I call meditation, it's where you freeze the thought. Mm -hmm. No one, no one can mount it out of me. I don't mm -hmm. care how I look. That is in me. Mm -hmm. That is, it's my focus. It don't have to look like it. Yeah. You see, I mean, I mean, the outward appearance doesn't have to uh, justify it right now because it's justified from within. Mm -hmm. And I know if I, if I meditate on it long enough, if you meditate on it long, long enough, then I can already see this book being a New York bestseller. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I mean, we, yes. we can see things happening already. Yes. Uh, I, I, I see now that God has already begun to open doors because of the humility that you walk in. Because you have reverence where God has placed you. And, and, and you know, and you've heard me teach so many times, uh, sometimes the popular place is not the powerful place. Sometimes it's that place of separation. It's that, it's that closet as you referred to a while ago. It's that place where nobody sees you. But when you come out, you're fruitful. Yeah. When you come out, there's a statement made. Mm -hmm. You know, when you come out, someone know where you've been. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that young man or that man or that woman or that girl, they've been before the Lord. Um, let's look at uh, let's look at a scripture here, and, and I want you to I want you to um, 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 let's look at a scripture here. Uh, I think I want to go to Ma I think it's Matthew's, and there's a scripture here, but. Um, temple, there is a um, there is a lot of you that's looking at you right now. There is a and, and, and let me say this to you. Let me say this to you. How much capital did you did you have? How much money did you have when you when you when you begin to write? When you begin to try to get this book going? Talk talk. Someone is asking. Someone now is parked and paralyzed because they think vision starts with money. Yeah, yeah. You, you follow what I'm saying? They think books. When you immediately when you say books, they're thinking, "Oh my God, I gotta have all this sitting over here." Yeah, to, yeah, to, yeah. Talk to me. Yeah. Talk talk to someone. Talk to another millennial. Not only to some of us baby boomers. You know, <laughs> yeah. feel that like I'm a baby boomer. You're a millennial. <laughs> we'll get to that later. Don't get happy over that. <laughs> but anyway, talk to me about that process of you have the vision, you know where you're headed, but you don't see the finances. Mm -hmm. So did what did you do? Did you did you what did you do? I just wrote. Oh, I, you I just did, wrote. I just did it. I just do it. You know, as Nike say, um, mm -hmm. I just wrote. Uh, mm -hmm. I did. You, the money will come. As I respond to the calling, as I respond to the assignment, I know the money will come, and I and. And even in even in your uh, atmosphere and your situation, your day to day routine, how your environment may be, it may be negative, um, and that may be because God is calling you and telling you, don't focus on the job, don't focus on your daily routine, focus on the assignment. This may mm -hmm. not be right because you're not doing the assignment, and mm -hmm. that's that's something I had to really uh, uh, learn. And but I, nothing, just do it, just do it. You, you know, I say so many times, Temple, and you've heard me teach this that. God will never give you an assignment 
or send you somewhere where he becomes unnecessary. Someone needs to know that tonight. God will never give you assignment where he becomes unnecessary. He will now never send you somewhere where he hasn't been. Mm -hmm. Are you following what I'm saying? Uh, I'm, I'm recall uh, Abraham was told to go for a city not made with hands. What do you mean? Go for a city. In other words, where I'm going? Follow the voice. You, you may not see the whole picture, but in your unction, you know you're supposed to move. In your unction. See, money doesn't show up because you want it. Money shows up because it's needed. Mm -hmm. You follow me? Yeah, yeah. What is the purpose? Now, here's another question I want to ask you. What do you, what impact do you, do you want this, this book to have? Uh, a King's Journey to Greatness. What, 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 what is the message that, that, that uh, you would want, what is the take that you would want someone to have when they come in contact with this book? When, when you come in contact with this book, I want you to know that you're a king. I want you to know that you are great. That, oh, identity. Yes. I want you to know that you come from a royal priesthood. And mm -hmm. I, I want you to hunger for a uh, authentic relationship with the, with the father. <sighs> and, and the more you do that, the more you, be, the more you know who you are and what you inherit as a son of God. And, and, and that you... That through that process, the greatness, keeping the right mindset, keeping keeping the right voices in your head, studying and staying and feeding on the word daily, and it's easier said than done, but you can but you can do it. I believe you can do this it. This can be done. You know, I, I believe as as I um, as I um, uh, look at the books that you have wrote and that's going to be released shortly, uh, King's Journey to Greatness. I believe that it's going to bring some. Uh, um, Self worth is going to bring someone in relationship with God, but but also I believe this that that this is going to put a lot of people to work in this life mm -hmm. because everybody's ready for the next life, but eternity starts now. Right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's nothing that you wait on. Mm -hmm. You follow what I'm saying? I believe that that this is going to have an impact on a whole bunch of people, young and old, uh, uh, baby boomers, uh, millennials, uh, mm -hmm. whoever, come in contact with this here because. You know, uh, there's a lot of things need to be happening right now. I believe that this book could be used to change a, a culture uh, of America, the way we do things. Mm -hmm. You follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and, and right now, we need some answers. Mm -hmm. we, we need some kings to come forth. Yeah, yeah. You, you follow what I'm saying? Yeah. We need some people with some spiritual authority that's able uh, uh, to impregnate that within the land, that we can change some things around. Mm -hmm. Because... Um, uh, Y'all are not next. You're now. <laughs> People keep talking about next. Yeah. No, no, you're not generation uh, uh, X. You generation now. Yes. You know what I mean? It's I mean, it's now. It, it's what you what you're writing, son. Is now mm -hmm. uh, a king's journey to greatness. Uh, that that's 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 now. You you're speaking now. You helping someone now. Someone is grabbing a pen now. Someone's getting back up, working their imagination now, saying, "I can do this." Yeah. Yeah. Are you following what I'm saying? Yeah. See, let, let me tell you something. Let, let me give you a little advice as I give others some advice. Never do what people want you to do. Mm. Do what you were born to do. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and, and I'm gonna go ahead and slip this in here because a lot of religion will slip this in here. But but what you do will bring revenue. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because in the world you're gonna need. Don't let nobody act like, oh, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want. No, 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 no. No, that that's a religious spirit. Mm -hmm. No, no. Because you make your most money when you when you're doing what you were born to do. Only time you shorten is when you're out the wheel. That's true. You follow what I'm saying? No one can bring value to you like you bring value to yourself. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. You see what I'm saying? And someone out there needs to know that tonight. You, you, you know, when you, you were born with a purpose. You were born uh, 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 to make a difference. You were born to have an effect upon mankind. You were born to take it to the next level. You were born to speak into somebody's life. You were born to tell somebody, hey, you can do this. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes. yes. So, so this is this is a this is an awesome time to be alive. But, but not only be alive, but be relevant. Yeah. Are you following what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Be relevant. Uh, I admire you and have a lot of respect for your body of work, for the work that you are are, are, are putting into the uh, uh, that you're putting into the earth. But my advice to everybody tonight is prophesy to something happen. 
prophesy. Come off the sideline of life. Mm -hmm. Prophesy. Come off, do something with your life. See, if, if, if you keep doing what's with, 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 with your life, with, with things that don't work, that's what you're going to have, a life of, of stuff that just ain't working. But, but when you hear from God and begin to move on the voice of God and begin to move by faith, something happens. Yeah. Something special. Something. What, what, if, what if you had not heard of God? You, you just had a birthday, too, the other day. You, you're 22 now, right? Yes, sir. He's 22 year old, just celebrated on the 19th. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I was blessed to have a, a, a son who's deceased whose birthday was on the 17th. My daughter was on the 18th, and my spiritual son was on the 19th. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but you're 22 years old, and, and you got a big future. I hear you. I can hardly stand to look at you tonight. I need sunglasses to look at you uh, because your future is so bright. I believe in you. And there's others tonight that's watching you that it, 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 a lot of times it ain't how much you say. Mm -hmm. It's what you say. Yeah, yeah. Someone tonight I know by the Spirit of God is it, say, wait a minute. I can do this. Yeah. See, vision don't start with your money. It starts with a God idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It starts with yeah. your imagination. Yeah. Your dream is incubated in your imagination. That's good. That's good. Are you following what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, the, 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 the imagination is the mother and the father to the dream. It nurses it. You follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, you, you, you decide. See, let, let's call the imagination the dark place. Mm -hmm. okay. And that imagination is the dark place. That's where things are, that's the dark room. That's where things are developed and imagined. Yeah, yeah. That's where things take on form in life. Just like, I don't know, this wasn't in your day, but, but uh, uh, a lot of us baby boomers that's listening right now, back in my day, they had the, the, the cameras that you had to snatch out the film and put it in the dark room, and then it would develop in the dark room. Mm -hmm. Well, that's how I see in the realm of the spirit with the imagination. You have a dream. You, you imagine that dream. Now, 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 once that dream is developed in the mind, it wants to be prophesied out into the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because now when you speak it, it has form. The form comes from the imagination. Mm -hmm. Are you following what I'm mm -hmm. saying? See, see, the book, you just didn't woke up one day, that book been in you. That, you, you've been sleeping with that book a long time. It was ready for you to prophesy. Creation was groaning and travailing. Wow. You yes, follow what yes. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yes. and, and now that next level to the book is coming. Approximately what, what, what time frame you think that this book will be, be released? Before the end of the year. Before the end of the year. Before the end of the year. Okay, this is September before the end of the year. Yeah. You, you heard it. I, I'm telling you, he'll be coming to a city near you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah, any, any day. Um, Matthew 12. I said go to Matthew 12. Let me go there right quick. Let me go that way. Think. I'm so glad, son, to have. And anything that you want to uh, uh, um, to share, um, what are some of the things that God's been dealing with you about? What are some of your take? You, you. Uh, now, one thing I like about my spiritual son here, he's a musician, but also you can't beat him taking notes. You can't beat him taking notes as as, as we're prophesying and teaching the word of God uh, on Sundays. He's 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 full. He can take over the service at, at any moment you give it to him. Uh, Talk to me some of the things that, some of the takes that you've got from some of the message that, uh, that prophets and I have spoken. Talk to me. Talk to me about um, some of the takes the main, of the message. Uh, one, of the, one, uh, one thing that's been in my spirit very heavy uh, lately is, is in the book, too. It's one of the chapters. is activating what's in your hand. Mm -hmm. so, activating what's in your hand. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, activating what's in your hand. So, there, so uh, there's something that God has placed on the inside of you mm -hmm. that you must activate. There's there's greatness that is placed on the inside of you that you must become aware of. And I think uh, a lot of people are unaware of how great they really are, the greatness mm -hmm. that's inside of them and, the, mm -hmm. and how powerful God really is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And activating what's in your hand what truly means um, that you have a gift. Everybody mm -hmm. in this world has a, a specific gift mm -hmm. that the world needs. Um, mm -hmm. and, and that and that gift is going to, you have to cultivate that gift. You have to, you have to, you have cultivate to cultivate the gift. You have to uh, nurture that gift. There's a, and, and how you nurture it is the environment, going back to the mm -hmm. environment, mm -hmm. going mm -hmm. back to the, the right people in your life. Mm -hmm. And, and um, knowing 
knowing that you have something and, and that's something that got me to write the book as well god said you have something to say and i said i do and mm -hmm. I, he said yes and and so activating what's in your hand is is really knowing that you have a gift that you have a purpose on your life and you have a calling on your life and it's much bigger than what you think it is and and uh the 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 effect that you're gonna have on there uh, on people's life on this or on this earth is uh, you want to leave an imprint on this earth. Mm -hmm. You want to leave you want to leave something for your legacy to hold on to 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 uh, pass on to their legacy to to the next generation. And what that means is activating what's in your hand. That means you have to become first. You have to become aware of what your gift is. Then on top of that, you have to act upon what your gift is. You can't just okay. I have this gift and then sit at home and, and watch TV all day. You know you have to you have to cultivate right. the gift. You have to nurture. It. You have to you have to uh, and also you have to grow it, develop it. That so that means coming out of your comfort zone. And that mm -hmm. and, and even for me with uh, dancing, being able to minister and dance. That was something uh, that uh, was big for me, uh, learning choreography and everything like that. And it was, it was it, at first, it was kind of uh, difficult mm -hmm. a little bit. It, mm -hmm. was, it was something new, and but I've learned to uh, to uh, to enjoy it. To, to I've learned to uh, smile in the face of uh, adversity. Adversity, and and once you become once you become confident in in God, and you know that He's in you, then you're. You won't be afraid of anything. You'll be able to conquer anything because your mindset is set on greatness. Your mindset is set on um, maximizing your full potential. Well, the, we, we, we were born to be great because the word said we were made into the image and the likeness of him. Mm -hmm. That's in the image of, of his imagination, in the image of his greatness, yeah. in, in, in the image of his divine nature. I mean, I mean we, we're, we're the very carbon print of God. We're God in principle. He's God in personality in principle, but we're God in principle. And when we become God, when we realize that we're God in principle, we become unstoppable. That's when no weapon formed against you can prosper mm -hmm. because you're the word. Yeah, yeah. Are you following what I'm saying? You, you, I mean, you, you're it. You're it. Uh, I believe tonight uh, 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 that, that, that um, God is waking up some sleeping giants tonight. I believe there's some, what do you mean by sleeping time? It's some giants that you're great, but you didn't fell asleep. Yeah. You're giants, but you, you, you're huge. You, you, your discomfort, it ain't about the devil. He, he does exist, but it ain't about the devil. Sometimes life can throw you a blow, and, and, and we got a tendency of just laying back. Sometimes you can become pausing by what you see. You can come pausing by what you feel. Mm -hmm. You can come pausing because you don't see all the revenue. Mm -hmm. uh, you follow mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But but we got to remember that, that God said we walk by faith and not by sight. Uh, you follow what I'm saying? See, you, you, you got to keep doing what you do. Like, one thing I tell people about me, prophets and I, my wife and I, we're consistent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're consistent. Yeah. See, when you yeah. start on your vision, you won't quit. Yeah. Yeah. Quitting yeah. is not even in the vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Are you following what I'm saying? And, 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 and I truly found out God don't count numbers. He make numbers count. Yeah. <laughs> Are you following what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. David got in trouble for counting the numbers. Sometimes you're trying to count up the numbers. You need to just be obedient. Mm -hmm. Just take the step. Just, be just, just move in that direction. Yes. And watch what, watch what will happen. Watch how life will, will, will turn for you. Let me go back to the scripture in Romans 8. He said, creation is groaning and travailing for the... Let, let me read that here. Um, Romans, the 8th um, chapter in... Um, um, see, Romans 8 chapter... And I want to say, let me find that Romans 8 and 16. I think that's what I want. Let me see. Here. It says here, for I consider the suffering, that's Romans 8 and 18, say, says, for I consider the sufferings of this present time are not to be worthy to be compared with the glory of that's the manifestation, which shall be revealed in us. Eagle expectation of the creature waiting for the appearance of the sons of God. That's us. For the creature was subject to fertility, not willingly, but by the will of, of him who subject it in hope. That creation itself also will be set free from its slavery 
to corruption unto the glorious freedom of the children of God. Now, 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 let, let, me, let me sum all that up what that is saying. The English version says creation is groaning in travailing for the manifestation of the sons of God to do what? To free creation. Creation is, 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 is groaning for the sons. We're the sons to prophesy, to, to use a mind to free creation. What you need is waiting on you to free it mm -hmm. through the power of your words. Mm -hmm. Everything that belongs to you is waiting on you to free it. Everything in the natural realm is waiting on you to free it from the spiritual realm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you following what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's waiting on temple. It's waiting on that person beyond this coming. It's waiting on you. you you're not waiting on nothing. It's, Creation is waiting on you to be God and prophesy. Yeah, yeah, definitely. David said, my tongue is a pen of a ready writer. In other words, Dunn said, David realized that my tongue has power. My tongue has the ability to ink what it needs. Mm -hmm. And when it, anything put in stone can't be moved. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, in the days of old, when something was written, when it was decreed and written, when it was legislated, see, every time you speak a word of God, you legislate that word. That's a legal term. It becomes legal. So that's why you got to watch what you say. Mm -hmm. Because those, those words can be legally right or legally wrong. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But, 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 but the legally right words, the kingdom responds to them. Are you following what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that, that's why you cannot afford to get frustrated uh, 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 in, in, in vision time and start saying everything because you don't see. But well, I don't see the help. Yeah. I, I, I don't see all the publishers. Mm -hmm. Keep writing. Keep writing. Uh, keep, moving. keep moving. And everything you need. Go. See, we don't, you don't know who's looking at you tonight. Yeah. You, you, some screenwriters looking at you tonight. Some publishers looking at you tonight. Somebody's looking at you saying, hmm. All they heard was this, a king's journey to greatness. They probably going to get a sandwich out of the refrigerator, a bologna sandwich, probably going to go to bed. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Who is this young man? Mm. See, being in the right place at the right time, all, all, you, all you need is a glimpse. God give you a glimpse. Mm -hmm. And when God put his spotlight on you, Oh, it's my on God. It's on you. When God says, let there be light. Now let me go here right quick. When God says, let there be light, you ain't heard nothing I said. It and, now, and now I want to say some message to you and, 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 and allow me to say this, Temple, and I want you to weigh in on this, son. Mm -hmm. You must give yourself permission to say, let there be light. Mm -hmm. Jesus, God gave himself permission to say, let there be. You got to give yourself permission to say, let it be. Because it, it's not going to happen until you let it be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In other words, you got to give yourself inward permission to say, I'm going to let this be. Even though this looks impossible, I'm going to let it be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And once you get it out of you, everything that, that, that's needed to nurse it from the outside will show up. Yes. 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 Because, watch this here. When you release it, that means that everything in you has already given everything it needed to come out. I just said something. Equal exchange. You, you follow what I'm saying? Everything, hello somebody, everything that you need came from the inside and it was nursed. I'm talking about vision. Mm -hmm. And it was ready for you to push it out. Now because it got what it takes from the inside, everything that belongs to it is going to come to it. Mm -hmm. Watch this here. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Adam. Adam was in God. Mm -hmm. God took him out, took him out the imagination of his mind, formed him, brew, brew life in him, and then presented him, put him in a garden, in an atmosphere that was conducive to the vision that he had gave him. Mm -hmm. Now notice, he put him in the place. Yeah. Are you feeling me? Mm -hmm. He said, now, except you're not in that speak, talk. You do. You work it from, you work it from here. Mm -hmm. He said, Adam, whatever you call a thing, it's going to be. When Adam named it, it showed up. It just passed before him. He said, you name it. And I believe that that's how God do everybody. If you born of God, God is simply saying, you name it. What, what you going to labor it? What, what, what you going to do with the gift that God has given you? Come on in. I believe that life ain't nothing but a service. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. The richest people have a service. 
You follow what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The rich, rich folks are like you said. You have a service, but but you gotta open that service. Yeah. Do anybody know you got a service other than you? I remember one time I, I told a young man, he said, I'm looking for a job. I said, do anybody else know you're looking for a job other than you? Yeah, yeah. One, one guy told me one time years ago, he said, he said I, 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 I'm a minister. I said, do anybody know you minister other than you? Mm-hmm. See, in other words, you, you, got to, you got to share the love. You got, there has to be a transfer. Mm-hmm. Uh, you yeah. follow what I'm saying? I, I've watched you over the years. Also, Temple does... Uh, he is good in arts. Is good in uh, 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 name, of, name of your your group, your your dancing group is on a mission. Yes, on a mission. On a mission. And some of you have seen some of his work uh, there on uh, streaming live through Facebook. Uh, God has been opening up a lot of doors for you. Uh, you've had some opportunity to to do some work at the Potter's House with mm-hmm. Corey yes. and company. Yes. And uh, what's Corey's group name? Uh, operating un- under the anointing. Operating under the anointing. So God has did a lot of great things since you came out of Cleveland. Yes, definitely. definitely Amen. Amen. But but anyway, people, I want I want to encourage you tonight. I want to encourage you tonight to to get back focused with your vision. Get back focused with vision. The Bible said in Habakkuk two two, write the vision and make it plain upon tables for those that that really can run with it. But but you got to first see it. You got to. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see yourself beyond where you at? Mm. I think sometimes, Temple, that, that the frustration, and I want you to weigh in on this, comes because sometimes uh, um, um, we feel like we don't have what it really takes. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And, and you really do. And, and you really do. Yeah. Once God endorses it, man, I mean, and I'm going to be honest with you, it will ch- a vision will change your schedule. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Um, already know I, I watch you sometime practicing sometime there on Facebook I'm watching you practice and and I know sometime that practice don't fit schedule I mean don't fit your norm life no, amen you, great people do things that 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 I, I want to just go ahead and say it, lazy people don't do yeah. <laughs> yeah. the difference in the great and the lazy is, 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 is the way they use their time mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you follow what I'm yeah. saying and, and, and I'll be honest with you I find it in my own vision that sometimes you got to separate from the pack you can't make every every celebration, every party. Sometimes you gotta focus on what you need to be doing, mm-hmm. because sometimes that hiding place can promote you to the great place. Mm-hmm. Are you following what I'm saying? And sometimes everybody's not gonna understand. Well, well, Temple, why are you not showing them? Mm-hmm. I got greatness to work yeah, yeah. on. I got, I got something bigger to do. I got. I, in, in other words, my life is bigger than than what I'm seeing right now. And you control that. Your life. If you listen to us tonight, your life is bigger than the place you at right now. Yeah. yeah. And, and and I'm gonna tell you something. An eight to five job. I'm not telling nobody to quit your job. Mm-hmm. But I am saying this here. Everybody wasn't born to be on a forty hour clock. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And, and 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 that's takes some adjustment. You know. Um, uh, uh, you, you know, everybody wasn't born to, re- to, to wait till they retire mm-hmm, mm-hmm. with a pen and a pencil yeah, yeah. after 40 years living off Social Security. Let me tell you something. God's bigger than that. Mm-hmm. God said, I'll make you the head and not the tail above only and not beneath. Bless coming in, bless coming out. Everything you touch, God said he would prosper. Yeah. Yeah. Give somebody three points of how to get started. Somebody right now, somebody right now is trying to write a book. Mm-hmm. But but what would you say if, if, if you just had three things to tell somebody to get started? From the core of your spirit, Okay. what would you tell? Look in that camera and tell somebody. Right now, somebody right now been thinking about it for years, writing a book, and ain't did nothing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, the scriptures that just hit my spirit, uh, Ephesians 3.20, not unto him, not unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that mm-hmm. you can ask or think or mm-hmm. imagine, uh, mm-hmm. according to the power that worketh in us. Mm-hmm. And my three points would be the first point is can you see your greatness? Oh, can you see? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can you see your greatness? Can you see your greatness? And then two, are you willing to separate? Are you willing to? What are you willing to sacrifice? Can, let me ask you something. Let, let's 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 go back to. Can you see your greatness? We don't want to run over that. 
We don't let let's we gotta we gotta we can't we can't move because me, now you challenge somebody, you provoke somebody. Yeah. Yeah, Can it. see it's not matter it doesn't matter what I see. Mm -hmm. Can you see your greatness? Mm -hmm. it, it didn't ask, the question you didn't ask him, can you see the money? You didn't ask him that. You didn't ask him could they see the crowd. Mm -hmm. Can you see your greatness? Yeah. Yeah. Can you see where your gift is trying to take you? Yeah. Can, can, can you see beyond today? Mm -hmm. Can you see beyond the dry place? Yeah. Can you see beyond the unpopular place? Oh, it's a, it's a lot in that. Can you see your greatness? Now, now let, let me add this to it. I remember uh, uh, God's telling Abraham in the book of Genesis, he said, as far as you can see, Mm -hmm. I'll give it to you. Yeah, yeah. As far as your imagination lets you see, I'll give it to you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and finish. So, can you see your greatness? Um, can you see beyond the famine? Can you see? Can you? Can you see what God is really trying wants to do through you? Because He wants to do a mighty work through you, through your gifts. So, um, can you see the greatness and? Are you willing to, what are you willing to sacrifice? Uh, stop. What are you willing to sacrifice? What are you willing to give up? Yeah. What are you, what, what are you willing to let go? Yeah. Are uh, you following what I'm saying? What are you willing to give? What, uh, now, now when you said that, I thought about Abraham and Isaac. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isaac had waited all his life for the promised son, which was, I mean, uh, Abraham had, wait, Abraham had waited all his life for the promised son, which was Isaac. He had Ishmael. But, but God didn't want Ishmael as an offering. He wanted the promised son. He wanted the very thing that he gave him. Mm -hmm. What are you willing to give up? What, what, what if God gets you to this place where this gift is flowing, and God said, I want you to get that gift back to me mm. for a season, and I want you to do this here. What are you willing to give up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now, now that's that, that, that yes. but watch this here. But see, when you got a relationship with God, Abraham didn't even hesitate. Mm -hmm. Isaac was just as a dead, a dead son. But even the son had, the son had faith. Yeah. yeah the son yeah. said, I see the fire, I see the wood. Where's the sacrifice? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, when you know, when you, you don't mind giving it all on the line because God, you can't be God given. What are you willing to give up? Are you willing to give up your, your time? Are you willing to give up of, of your, because of, I found out you got to be your greatest supporter mm -hmm. in your vision. That's true. I'm yeah. talking about financially. You got to be the greatest supporter. Very true. Yeah. It may make you uncomfortable. You may want to drive this right now. And God said, I want you to drive that. But if you drive this, this is going to drive you to the top. Mm -hmm. Are you following what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, he, you may say, well, I want the Bentley. No, I don't want you to have the Bentley. I want you to have the Ford right now. Mm -hmm. You drive the Ford, I let you own the lot. A bit yeah. You see what I'm saying? So I'm just simply saying that what are you willing to give up? What are you willing to sacrifice? Are you willing to give up your sleep? Are you willing to give up some TV? Are you willing to give up some, some extra company during the week? Go ahead, go ahead and expound on that. Yeah, um, the sacrifice. What, what are you willing to give up? There's, a, there's something that you're going to have to give God in order for God to give you. Mm -hmm. and, and, and really... And what return what God is going to give you, it's 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 kind of naughty. It's kind of uh, it kind of outweighs what you can really give God. It's a it's uh, the the sacrifice that you'll make but will be worth it at the end. And and you can't even really make it as a uh, something that is a real sacrifice. You have to you have to uh, you have to know that. The sacrifice that you're going to make is you can't even see it as a sacrifice. You have to see it as something that's that's going to that's going to uh, catapult you to where you're supposed to be, to where you want to be. And um, so, can you see your greatness? Is one. Can you? What are What are you willing to sacrifice? Is two. And three. Just do it. God, just do it. Just do it. Um, just do it. God, God is going to do exceedingly abundantly whatever you think um, or ask. Uh, so just do it. What it, What God is saying. In that scripture, I see God saying, "What, what are you afraid of? What, just step out. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, put uh, put land under your feet as you jump off the cliff. I'm going to provide provide provision as you walk forward." 
And um, so just do it. Don't be afraid and just do it. Just trust God. Just 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 trust God and uh, have it. Keep your confidence in Him and His Word, and He will fulfill it. Amen. 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 And, and that's and it's it's just that simple. It's just that simple. If you put God first in your time, spending that quality time with God, that intimate time with God, nursing that vision uh, with the Word of God, speaking over that vision. Being committed to that vision as you committed unto God, yeah. uh, uh, find yourself connected to 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 uh, uh, somebody needs to be mentoring your life. That's very true. Somebody needs to be speaking in your life. Who's speaking in your life other than you? You got to have somebody in the earth. Because yeah. see, a spirit. Uh, see, God needs a body to dwell in. To be legal, he has to have a body. That's why he has me and you. Mm -hmm. That's why we're speaking to these people right now because he's used us to speak to these people. But let me say this here to you tonight. Tonight, uh, uh, I want to encourage everybody. There's a lot of entrepreneurs tonight uh, um, of all capacities that are listening tonight, and, and 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 I prophesy that that you will become all that God would have you uh, to become. Uh, I prophesy tonight that 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 you will get up and take the risk because real faith. Is gonna make you move. Mm -hmm. When you say you got faith, sir, it's gonna make you do something. Mm -hmm. I, I I've never known a faith that, that parts you. Mm -hmm. Faith go, faith will make you step on the edge and it'll make you fly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Faith will make you take the jump. Yeah, yeah. Are you following what I'm yeah. saying? I I remember where when uh uh uh, uh there was no TV cameras. Mm -hmm. Now they we 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 we're, we're actually broadcasting from my home. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Reaching further than than just uh, streaming Facebook. live in Facebook, yeah, right, right. but but th those were spoken to existed. I haven't paid a dime for cameras, <laughs> but the word got them in here. Mm -hmm. Are you following? Mm -hmm. I'm just showing you. You prophesy yeah. to somebody here tonight. You prophesy to something happen. You keep speaking. You keep speaking and taking action. To some, something's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You didn't write a book for nothing. You see what I'm saying? You, you, before you can get this one out, good. Less than a year, you have another one out. You, because there'll just be birthing. Mm -hmm. There'll just be a birthing going on. Yeah. One after another, one after another. Yeah. But I encourage everybody tonight. Uh, it's been a pleasure sitting here with my um, uh, spiritual son tonight. You, you've been very inspirational and motivational. Um, uh, there's a, a lot of things, son, that God is going to do with your life. Um, uh, God's blessing upon your 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 dance ministry, uh, upon your book ministry, mm -hmm. um, uh, and how God is going to use you in a lot of ways. And you have my blessings. I watch you be faithful with your gift. I watch you come in with your electric organ and and get on the wall there and give God what you see. Oh God, God don't want nothing you ain't got. He just wants your best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You follow what I'm saying? And it's something about you can't be God given in nothing. Mm -hmm. It's little becomes much when you put it in God's hand. You ain't, somebody need to hear that tonight. Little becomes much mm -hmm. when you put it in God's hand. Mm -hmm. See, th th this might not look like much. You may say, well, this is my first book. You follow what I'm saying? But this becomes much mm -hmm. when you place it in God's. When you give it. Now, God, you give it to me. Now, God, I'm giving it back to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. A king's journey to greatness. Yeah. My God. Yeah. I tell you what, uh, you, you keep your eye uh, 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 open because you will see this book in Barnes and Noble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you will see this Good. book. You will see this book traveling around the country. Uh, you will be hearing more of um, of Minister Temple. You're going to see more of him uh, in days to to come. Well, tonight I want to pray over every entrepreneur, er, every millennium, er, 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 everyone with vision. If you feel you got a vision, if you feel your vision is bigger than a job, uh, there's some people tonight, Temple, that they own jobs, but they know that that is something yeah. more to their life mm -hmm. than just paying water bill, light bill. See, yeah. those are the people I want to talk to tonight because some people just want to exist. Mm -hmm. Just give me a water bill, light bill. But but some of the people realize that my life is bigger than a water bill, light bill. Yeah. My yeah. life is bigger than a car note. Yeah. But 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 there's substance to you. There's something to you, Father. In the name of Jesus tonight, I speak and prophesy 
Over every millennium night that's watching this broadcast mm -hmm. tonight, they, they may be watching it live, they may see it five seconds from now, they may see it 30 minutes from now, they may see it 30 days from now, they may see it a year from now, they may see it by to in the morning, but God, I prophesy tonight to entrepreneurs and I prophesy to the to those baby boomers that that that, that baby boomers say well I, I'm this age now and I can't do nothing no dream does not have an expiration date yes. your imagination at any moment can wake up a dream mm -hmm. you're never too old to dream and you're never too young to dream I challenge you to dream I challenge you to act upon your dream I challenge you to just get up and just do it just get up and make it happen. Get up and do something that you've never done. Get up and do it. What would you do if you know you couldn't fail? What would you do? Where would you go if you know you could go all the way? Where would you go? See, ain't nothing stopping you but you. I challenge you tonight to live to, to live a God. I challenge you to come up hither. It, it's time to, to live a life like you never lived before. You know, a lot of people say, Brother Temple, life is short. No, life ain't short. Life's too good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, see, don't speak that on you. No, life ain't short. Life can be long as you want it to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. Trust me, with all the work in the earth, God ain't trying to run everybody out the earth. The devil is a lie. Yeah, yeah. You follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He like for us all king. No, there's some kings that are going to stay right here and be in charge mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and tell the devil where to go. Mm -hmm and free his creation and free his people by the power of their word. God, tonight I speak of every business man, every business woman, every entrepreneur, young and old tonight, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that you stir up the gift that's within them tonight. I, God, I, I thank you tonight, God, right now, that I speak to that young author that's, right, that's in, in process of writing that book right now. God, I thank you for the anointing that's resting upon them. God, give them the wisdom and the knowledge. I pray them for the prophetic contacts. I pray for right now that publishers, uh, and I speak that on you some, I pray right now that publishers begin to seek out of their work, out of their body of work. I pray tonight that there's a prophetic attraction. I believe that the law of attraction can, can, can draw things unto you some, can draw things to, to others right now. That person that, that's believing you for that building, that dance studio, Father God, for, for, for that retail business, God, right now. I thank you, God. I speak into existence right now in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you, God, right now. Where there's vision, there's provision. Mm -hmm. And Father God, for the mere fact there's a vision, the provision is in the vision. Mm -hmm. I said, the, somebody here the other night, the provision, everything you need, God has given to you. Yeah, yeah. Your book, son, every, every, it's already financed. It's, it, it's already there. It's, it's one package deal. It's in every, it's in every word that you speak. Amen. See, when you, watch this here. What you got is for somebody. And, and, and when people take your body of work and see the value in it, they're going to invest in it. Mm -hmm. See, people invest in what's valuable to them. You know why people invest in water? Because they drink it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know why people invest in life? Because they need to see. Yeah. <laughs> you know why people invest in cars? Because they need a way around. You know why people go invest in your book? Because it's full of truth. It's going to wake up some kings. Amen. Amen. You, you follow what I'm saying? It's going to bring some people out of slavery. Yes. It's going to bring their mind from, from the, from the, from the, from the uh, low part of life to the high place of life. Yeah. I prophesy you tonight, if you listen to me tonight, you're getting ready to live the best days of your life. You, you, God is freeing you tonight to get up and be all you can be for God. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy that every one of your needs be met, spiritually, physically, mentally, financially, socially, domestically. And I speak divine healing God right now to, to, those, to those visionaries right now that may be going, something, uh, going through something in their body. We envision them healed mm -hmm. according to Isaiah 53 and 5. God, we, we speak inner healing to the soul, to the mind. D let me say this to somebody tonight. You may say, you don't know what I went through as a child. You don't, what, you don't know what I went through. I didn't have a mother. I didn't have a father. God will take your mess and turn it into a message. Let me say that again. Here, that right there is a book. Mm. 
That that what you've been through, your journey. Mm -hmm. Your life's a book. Yeah. You know, this is just one. This is just one book. You talking about the key journey? That's you. Yeah. You you. There's a lot to say. You got a lot to say. But God gonna take your mess and turn it into a message. He gonna take what what was meant for your bad and turn it around for your good. Well. I'm not going to hold you tonight. Uh, it's been a blessed, blessed having you here tonight, uh, Brother Temple. Anything else you would like to say before we get ready to close out? Anything, any final words that you'd like to say before we get ready to close out? Can you see the greatness in you? Can, Can you, see? you see the greatness in you? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Well, until we meet again, we want to say go and grow in the things of God. And this has been a moment with the prophet and my spiritual son, Minister Temple. I'm telling you, Look for this young man. Look for this book. It's going to be coming soon. We'll give the release date uh, throughout uh, uh, social media. Uh, again, that is the King's, what is it? The King's? A King's Journey to Greatness. A King's Journey to Greatness. Amen. Everybody needs that book. Amen. Well, till we meet again, go and grow in the things of God. And remember, you walk by faith and not by sight. And you are the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath. And we'll see you next time on Spiritual Empowerment for Success in Life. We'll see you next time.